One of the biggest issues for small business owners is managing cash flow. 82% of small businesses fail due to cash flow problems. According to a U.S. bank study, this is the leading cause of business failure. This statistic shows that cash flow mismanagement is more common cause of failure than issues with profitability or customer demand. So why aren't we talking about this? Well, today we are. I own multiple small businesses and I'd like to share five strategies that I use to manage cash flow. It's not a sexy topic, but these tips will help you sleep better at night, knowing you have a handle on your cash flow management. So jumping right into it. Tip number one, track your cash flow weekly. Yes, every week. All right, let's start with the basics. Tracking your cash flow weekly, this is absolutely non-negotiable. I know life as a small business owner is crazy, you're busy, you're wearing 100 hats, but here's the thing, if you're not tracking your cash flow, you're basically flying blind. And trust me, that's a dangerous place to be. So here's what you do. Set aside 15 to 30 minutes every week, maybe a Monday, maybe a Friday, whatever works. During that time, pull up reports in QuickBooks, Excel, or even just a simple Google Sheet. Look at how much money came in, how much went out. That's it. This little routine can literally save you from so much stress down the road because you'll always have a handle on where your money is going. Now, if you don't have anything set up yet, here's how you get started. Create a basic spreadsheet in it, list out all of your revenues you expect to come in and all of your expenses you expect to go out. Break this down week by week for the next 52 weeks. Yeah, the whole year. I know that sounds like a lot, but just do the best estimate that you have. It doesn't have to be perfect right away. Once you've got that laid out, Try to match the timing of when cash comes in versus when it goes out. For example, if you know rent is due on the 1st, but your biggest client doesn't pay you until the 15th, you'll be able to spot those gaps early. Here's the key. Every single week, take a look at this sheet and update it. Did something change? Did you have an unexpected expense pop up? Make a note, adjust those numbers, and keep refining as you go. This way, you won't get blindsided by surprise expenses. Oh, and definitely include a buffer. I'm talking about a miscellaneous section for like three to 5% of your expenses. Trust me, there's always something that comes out of nowhere. So it's smart to account for that. Dedicate just a bit of time each week. Keep your spreadsheet updated and adjust as things change. That way you stay on top of your cash flow and you can avoid unnecessary surprises down the road. It does not have to be perfect, but the more you stay on top of it, the more confident and control you'll feel. Here's my second tip, set budgets and stick to them. Let's be real, budgets are boring. No one wakes up excited to work on a budget, right? But here's the deal, budgets are absolutely crucial for the survival of your business. They're like the GPS of your finances. Without them, you're driving around aimlessly and hoping you end up in the right place. Spoiler alert, you won't. <laughs> now that you've got your cash flow sheet all set up, the next step is to create a budget for your expenses. Things like marketing, office supplies, product procurement, payroll and rent. Set realistic limits for each of these categories based on what you can afford and do the best to stick to them. Why is this so important? When you have a budget in place, you know exactly where your money is going. No more surprises at the end of the month wondering, where did all my money go? How did I spend all of this? A budget keeps you on track, making sure you're not overspending in one area and under investing in another. What if you don't know what you're spending yet? Here's what you do. You estimate it. Do a bit of research, check out what your competitors might be spending or look up industry averages. Put a rough figure in your budget to start. Maybe you don't know exactly how much your office expense will be, but throw in an average number based on what you've seen in the past or spent in the past. Once you start spending, keep an eye on those numbers and adjust your budget over time as you get a clear picture of what your actual costs are. For example, if you've budgeted $1,000 for marketing, but after a few months you realize you're constantly spending $1,500 to get the results you want, adjust the marketing budget. And if you're underspending in another area, like office supplies, redistribute the leftover budget where it's needed the most. Why is a budget extra important for small businesses? As a small business owner, every dollar counts. 
When you're running lean, overspending in one area can leave you short in another, like paying your staff or ordering inventory. If you're not tracking where your money is going, it's easy to fall into a cash flow crunch, which is exactly what you want to avoid. Having a budget in place also helps you plan for the future. It helps you spot trends in your spending and figure out where you can cut costs or invest more. The bottom line, budgets might not be exciting, but they're your best defense against overspending, unexpected costs, and financial stress. The better you track and adjust them, the more control you'll have over your business finances. Here's my third tip. Compare the budget versus your actuals every week. Now that you've got your budget in place, the next step is comparing your budgeted numbers to your actuals. This is where things get really real. You'll quickly see if you're overspending in some areas or maybe under budgeting for others. Either way, this is where you make adjustments. Here's how it works. Every week when you're tracking your cash flow, also do a budget versus actual comparison. Let's say you budgeted $500 for marketing, but at the end of the week, you realize you spent 700. Why did this happen? Did you run a bigger campaign than planned? Did some unexpected costs come up? Once you know the reason, you can fix it moving forward. Either adjust your future marketing spend or reallocate your budget elsewhere. Small businesses constantly deal with unexpected expenses. That's just part of the game. Maybe a piece of equipment breaks down or there's a sudden spike in shipping costs. These things pop up out of nowhere. And if you're not regularly comparing your budget to actuals, they can quickly throw off your entire financial plan. By doing this weekly budget versus actual look back, you can spot these issues early, adjusting your spending habits and get better at forecasting over time. This routine not only helps mitigate financial surprises, but also sharpens your focus on spending efficiency. Only 40% of small business owners are financially knowledgeable about the cash flow of their business. That means more than half of small business owners may not be doing things like this regularly, and that's a huge risk. The more you stay on top of this, the better position your business will be to handle surprises without breaking the bank. Budgeting is just the start. It's the weekly check-ins, comparing your plan to what actually happened that really helps you stay in control and make informed adjustments. My fourth tip, get your team involved. Here's something you might not be thinking about. Get your management team involved in the cash flow process. Managing your finances shouldn't be a solo mission. If you've got a management team, it's essential that they're in the loop too. Keeping tabs on the numbers is a shared responsibility. And when everyone is on the same page, you're more likely to stay on track. Here's how you can do it. Set up quick 15 to 30 minute meetings with your managers every week to review the numbers together. Go over cash flow, budgets, actuals, and make sure they understand what's going on financially. This keeps them informed and accountable. And don't stop there. Incentivize them to help you meet your financial goals. For instance, if your target is to keep labor costs at 15% of total revenue, tie a quarterly bonus to that goal. If they hit the target, they get rewarded. This not only motivates your team, but ensures that everyone is working towards the same financial objective. When your management team is aligned and actively contributing to your financial health, it's easier to spot potential issues early and stay on budget. Involving your management team in the cash flow process isn't just a way to delegate, it's a strategy for success. When everyone understands the financial picture, they're more likely to make smarter decisions, avoid overspending, and keep the business running smoothly. My last tip, get a line of credit before you need it. Listen to me carefully. Get a line of credit before you actually need it. This is a big one. Banks are more than happy to give you money when your business is thriving. But when times get tough and you actually need that credit, they'll often slam the doors shut. Sourcing a line of credit early gives you a safety net for when cash flow gets tight. And trust me, at some point, it probably will. Here's what you do. Go to your bank while things are still good and apply for that line of credit. You may not need it right now and that's the best time to get it. It'll be there for you when you face a slow season, have unexpected expenses, or just need a little extra cushion to cover payroll or inventory. If you wait until you're desperate, you'll be in a much worse position and that's when you're likely to make bad financial decisions. Higher interest rates, unfavorable terms, or even turning to predatory lenders. 29% of small businesses fail 
because they run out of cash. That's almost a third of all businesses. By securing a line of credit before you need it, you're helping to protect your business from becoming a part of that statistic. You're giving yourself a lifeline when you hit those inevitable cash flow bumps. But don't wait until you're in a pinch. Get that line of credit early so when you need it, it's there to keep your business afloat without added stress. If you're interested in taking this a step further, watch my financial ABCs video.